In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the new Face Effects feature in Video Studio 2022. You can make subtle adjustments to fine tune your videos by adding the skin smoothing effect or adjusting the brightness or skin tone. You can also adjust the eye size and face width of your subjects to create a dramatic or comical effect and have some fun with your videos. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. In the library, click the Media button. Upload the media that you want to add effects to by right-clicking and selecting Insert Media Files. Drag your video clip on the video track on the timeline. To access the new Face Effects tab, double-click on the clip on your timeline. This will open the Options panel. Then click on the Face Effects tab. Here there are several different features you can adjust. Eye size, face width, skin smoothing, brightness, and skin tone. To make some subtle adjustments to improve the appearance of the subject of this video, I'm going to adjust the skin smoothing slider to around 25. I'll also increase the brightness level. And by adjusting the skin tone slider to the left, I can make the skin tone a bit warmer, or cooler by sliding to the right. To compare these adjustments with the original video, I can uncheck the Apply button on and off to see the difference before and after the added face effects. We can press play to see what the effects will look like as the video plays. Make sure to apply face effects before you apply other filters, as some filters prevent the application of face effects. You can also save this preset to use in the future by clicking on the Save button beside Select Preset. Then give this preset a title, and it will be saved as a .beauty file. The new preset will be automatically added to the drop-down list beside Select Preset to use in future. You can delete a preset by clicking the minus button or add it to the list again by clicking on the plus button. If you want to start over, you can click the reset button to bring all of the slider values back to zero. You can also use any of the face effects to make some silly or crazy videos for your social media. Let's say I'm making a video about a sale or a big discount for a business, and I want to make this woman look really surprised. I can increase the eye size so she looks super surprised. You can also just use the face effect on a portion of the video clip. I could drag the playhead to where I want to begin the face effect and press S on my keyboard over where I want to split the video clip. Then click on the clip I want to add the face effect to and increase the eye size just on this section. Now when we press play, you'll see that her eyes grow super large for only a few brief seconds to give it a fun effect. We can also experiment with the face width slider to adjust the width of the lower part of the face. This can help make your subject have a slightly trimmer or broader face if you want to make a subtle adjustment, or you can make a more dramatic effect by making the face really wide or really narrow. Have fun experimenting with the new face effects feature in Video Studio to make your videos stand out on social media. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Video Studio.